right. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, my name is Tabby, and this is Tabby Plays Game. We're going to now start another cold recollection. And we are in chapter two. We did not finish chapter two yet. So I will continue from this point. Hopefully the screen looks okay. And we'll start then. We're still in Lawrence's mansion. Oh, yeah, we're still in Lawrence's mansion. <gasps> you remember, I was trying to say, think, where did we leave off? <laughs> and the tea is too hot to drink right now, so I have to wait a moment. So yes, uh, we had just finished. Why do I want to call her Molly? <laughs> Not Molly's room. Um, what was the name of her? The character. Hold on. Uh, not this. Where's my journal? <laughs> um, Franny, thank you. <laughs> right here. A letter written by Franny's mom. I want to call her Molly from the other game. <laughs> okay, so, right. We had finished visiting Franny's room. And we also went to Franny's parents' room and we saw kind of a letter written by Franny's mom was explaining why they left. And from here, we suspected that Franny might be Ashley's grandmother because possibly Franny got married, so their last name changed and then her father had her, so that's where we are. And I remember the last time I, I I stopped in front of this room because I said, that's the next thing we're going to do. So thank you so much for joining. Let's get started. A bird with a golden sprout in its beak adorns the locked door. Okay, so I think I just have to say use the item, which, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, we already did this. this oh, well, that's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Not... Huh? Wait, wasn't the clover... Sorry. <laughs> we opened this door. And we opened... Oh, this is the clover. Okay, so we got the key with the two... The two clovers. Got it. Okay. Alright, let's go on in. See whose room this is. This belongs to. Sorry, <laughs> my nose was not being nice. Okay, not here either. Where could you be, Jessica? All right. There was something to inspect. Oh, the sofa. The sofa is so nice. It's big and comfy. It's probably not great for watching TV from here. Is there a TV? That looks more like a radio. 
Maybe it is a TV. Table. This marble table looks expensive. It's also kind of cold when you touch it. Whose room do you think this belongs to? Oh, there's a picture of Franny there. Maybe it's her dad's, or was it Henry, her dad? Maybe it's his uh, work room? Where's the power button? Is there a remote for this thing? I'm curious where the puzzle might be here. The lampshade is all faded. Base is dirty too. I wonder what color it, ori it was originally. thought it was really interesting to be able to write with the quill pen. I think it takes a cer certain kind of practice. <gasps> uh, she says the same thing. <laughs> oh neat, a quill pen. I always wanted to try one. <sighs> no good. It's all dried out and hardened. Can't write a thing. I'm thinking we must have to look for sheet music for the piano room, too. Um, bookshelf. Wow, these shelves are so full of books. I wonder how long it would take to read them all. As long as it's not the king in yellow or in awe. <laughs> um, let's see here. There's a lot of bookshelves. And I think they did the smart thing by not putting a title on it. <laughs> or at least you can't see it clearly. This bookshelf is filled with books of various genres. Okay, they say the same thing. Oh, didn't we see this picture? Oh look, there's music notes at the top. <laughs> well, let's straighten it. これ、リ、
アシュレイお願いこの楽譜ピアノで弾いてみていいよピアノを聴いたら D がまた何か思い出せるかもうんでもフラニーは言ってたんだその楽譜には謎があるって楽譜の謎なんだろうそう、I feel a little weird saying this, but I totally was not imagining the game would take me to this next part for the sheet music. I thought, you know, I was just thinking about the piano room. <laughs>、um, and I was like, well, I, I do need to find the sheet music. And <laughs> the fact that the, for the next thing that happens is the sheet music. Um. um So that's. I, I, it's really a coincidence, not because I played this game before. So, painting of the hummingbird with the music. There's a painting of a hummingbird on the wall. Music staff. This looks like sheet music. What's it doing here? Um, but so I guess we need more hints to try to find the rest of the music sheets, maybe. I'm just guessing. Sheet music for a song D liked. I found it in the golden bird room. It seems to be missing something, though. Can I investigate it?、Hmm? I wonder why the bird from the golden bird room is drawn here. Do you know how to read? Oh, maybe it's this bottom set of the melody. Examine.、Hmm? No. Do you know how to read sheet music? <laughs> oh, I see. Right there. The music staff looks weird here. It's blank. There aren't any notes or rests indicated. Oh, oh yeah. This is the only place without any. Well, isn't it、uh, this part then that's on the, the painting there? Right? It's the base. Why won't it?、Uh... Oh. Oh, maybe I take a picture of it? Take photo. But I don't know how to read music. I mean, I played the piano, but I don't remember <laughs> how to. Oh.、Um... So. Oh! Oh no, that's just because I took a picture. Yeah. So, how do I connect those lines to. 
this song? Investig oh, oh, maybe I can use it. Okay, I'll try that. Use. Oh. Hmm. Okay. It feels like it should be straightforward, but maybe not. Here's Franny. That's a nice painting of her. <gasps> Is this painting of Franny? It looks a lot like the sketch in the art studio. It's weird to think that Dee was friends with her all those years ago. There is a piano downstairs, but the music sheet is missing the notes um, from here. It's missing the, the bass line down here, and I'm pretty sure those four notes are the bass line that's on top of the bird. But I don't know how to read those four notes up here. Like you can zoom in. Do I take a picture of this? Oh, actually, what is that? Something flat. It probably just goes da da da. I don't know. I don't remember how to read notes. I haven't played instruments in like forever. <laughs> oh, update on Franny. Franny was Dee's friend. She lived in this mansion that was really good at the piano. She also, wait, this is not new information <laughs> than last time. Okay. All right, let's see. I was just trying to figure out, is there any other way to get those notes? Or is that, oh, here's a crane. I have to use the camera to read the QR code. I hit the wrong button. For those memories. Oop. There we go. Oh, is it F? <laughs> okay. Let me let me put the go examine that again. It's just four notes. <laughs> and they go in order, so it's not too difficult, but... F... F flat? <laughs> if I had a C, I can count backwards. B? B A Gosh, when was the last time I I guess I could just sort of try it on the piano and see what happens. Okay. Let's see what the QR code... Hummingbirds! Oh, they were hummingbirds! I said the, it was a finch. <laughs> From the door knockers to tableware to paintings to sculptures in the fountain, a hummingbird motif permeates every corner of this mansion. The fact that there are so many hummingbird decorations indicates that Lawrence had a strong fixation on them. Hummingbirds can be a symbol of healing and love, and apparently a popular motif in Native American cultures as well. I believe it's possible Lawrence included hummingbirds all through the mansion as an attempt to alleviate his loneliness. It reminds me of something Sayoko once told me. In Japan, the crane has long been associated with good fortune. Designs featuring this particular bird are very popular. 
Origami cranes are most popular as a means of making a wish. As such, those who wish for peace or a speedy recovery from illness will often make them in droves. So perhaps Lawrence's hummingbird decorations were made with a wish. With a with a, were made with a with a fish. Uh, sorry, <laughs> wish. <laughs> I think there's a typo there. Were made with a wish for peace in his own life. Sayoko taught me how to make origami cranes a long time ago. Maybe I should make a few and leave them around the mansion with a wish that the departed may rest in peace. I see. Okay. All right, then I would make my way back to the piano room. I don't think there's much here. This p picture is filthy. I guess it's been gathering dust for a long time. Closet, tableware. There's a bunch of different kinds of alcohol from all over the world. I think I had enough last night. <laughs> it's pretty dusty up close. Makes sense, I suppose. I wonder if you or Ashley, would you want to inherit this place? Sorry, I ran out of tissues. Please give me a second to refill the tissue box. I can't tell how <laughs> stuffed up I sound or not, but um, we'll keep going. Um, let's see. I think I'll just go straight to the piano room and let's see if maybe it triggers those notes or not. down the stairs oh my goodness okay I don't like how she doesn't the camera doesn't follow her very well when going down the stairs Okay, we're back in the drawing room and let's go check out that piano. Maybe if I use the sheets on there, sh she'll have a memory of something. Let's use this. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I need to be up here where it says music stand. Okay, so let's put the notes from there. Yeah, you can use it. Okay. Use. Right. 
Right? So how you're supposed... Mm. There's something weird about this sheet music. I know, the notes, right? How do I mm. put those notes in? Can I just play it? Okay, here goes nothing. I guess she just knows the notes. Oh. Start playing. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I... I'm glad I didn't... What you played sounded kind of lonely compared to when Franny played it. <laughs> lonely? So maybe it was missing an accompaniment. I bet the second staff needs some notes too. See, this is frustrating to me because I think we know where it is, but did I have to do all this first before we got here? To this part, that's what I wasn't sure about. Okay, let's go back upstairs and see if I can now collect the rest of those notes. I'm going back up the stairs here. And it was this room. Golden Bird Room. That's a fancy name. Okay. So we know the notes are right here. I just want to know how we're supposed to... I don't know how to integrate this part with that part. I wonder if I'm supposed to... This bird painting, it's the same as the one on the sheet music. That must be important somehow. Do I take a picture from here? Oh, I don't know what the game wants me to do. <laughs> I I did take a picture already, so hmm. Well, there's nothing else I can do to Oh the quill? Maybe I can use it to write the notes onto the sheet. Oh there is Okay, let's go grab the sheet music again. That's a good idea. <laughs> I was just going to get the dried quill and somehow make scratches on it. I left it down there though. Did you say you've played this game before or no? Can I pick it back up? Oh, maybe I can't. So maybe I have to take a picture of it too? <laughs> but that's a good point because I remember when we started this game, there was a way to... I wonder why the same bird is drawn here. Oh. There was some musical notation drawn on the picture, right? Huh. Maybe it goes with the bird picture. Why Why did she now say that? <laughs> she didn't say that last time. Um. It's like I had to run out and come back again. 
but you're right there was a part that the game allowed you to overlay right there so um, overlay oops overlay this with this that was definitely a good call <laughs> there you go perfect fit now I just need to transcribe it well, I'm glad you were paying closer attention to it than me is it done then what does she mean transcribe it I don't <laughs> yes. So far, these puzzles aren't as frustrating, but she says she needs to trans. Yeah, so you do need the quill. Okay. Oops. Uh oh, where's the stairs? Lots of running back and forth. I'm glad I have all day to solve puzzles before the boat comes back. <laughs> okay, now we have to find pen and paper. Oh, the quill and ink are both unusable. Well, there goes that idea. Well, how else can I transcribe it? The art in the painting room, maybe? Um, table. Suit. <laughs> Use the suit, suit down there. No? There wasn't anything else, I don't think. Mm. The closet has been cleared out. So all I can think of now is the painting room might have ink. The painting room was downstairs. Okay, we can try that. Oh, secret room here. The door to the courtyard is locked up tight. Okay. Might open from the other way. I think art studio. Maybe <laughs> there's some pens, scribbles. They didn't leave me a pencil to draw with. Nope. Old bag. Nothing in there. I don't feel like they would reuse... Um... Like some of the... Like we already used that for something else, so... I don't think they would reuse... Hmm. Top of the dresser. Paint! It looks like the kind of paint real artists use. Some of these still have paint inside, but it's all hard and unusable. Ah, uh, well that's top of the dresser. Oh, oh, right here. Bill coming. There's a notepad on the dresser. This notepad looks new. I wonder if it's my dad's. Ne. What's written on it? 8.15. Bill is coming. <laughs> Who's Bill? No clue. Maybe a friend of my dad's? There's something else written here too.
It looks like some notes have been jotted down here. Shopping list for Bill. Chocolate. Potato chips. Mand healing for Cafe Ole. Apple soda. Papa. My dad likes chocolate too. Pencil. Oh no! Wait, I can't pick up this pencil to transcribe? <gasps> oh, that's really mean. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Let me do it again. Maybe if she's like... Select photo. It's perfect fit. Now I just need to transcribe it. But what does that mean? Using the pencil? Nope. Okay. They shouldn't leave a pencil around if they didn't think I would come here looking for one. Okay. So that was a no. So they want me to find something else. to transcribe the notes. Uh, so I'm guessing it's not in this room. The easel holds an elaborate painting. This one too? Okay. Rusty buckets. They must have been sitting here forever. Ugh! I scratched my nail on it and gave myself chills. <laughs> Easel. This is confusing now. Okay. Sorting shelf. A sorting shelf with extra rags and paper. Nothing looks particularly useful. I mean, you transcribe with the pencil, right? Maybe she will just know how to do it on the piano. Maybe I don't need a pencil. <laughs> Did we do this already? We tried this already and it didn't work. <laughs> She will just... <laughs> well, some of the things are kind of making me wonder how they programmed it. Like, why do you have to do certain things in order for other things to trigger? Okay. Yes. Oh, there we go. I'll try transcribing it. Perfect. <laughs> How does she do that? She had a pen on her. <laughs> Done. Now let's play it. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Let's listen to the music. Okay, I'm gonna try playing it. Start playing. Oh. No. <laughs> I messed it up. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Start playing. Let's do this again. up uh, okay I'll go slower it's not about speed right <laughs> uh. 
that's pretty. Alright, we found something. Let's take a look. Oh, a box. No, wait. Down here, box. あ、箱が落ちてきた。なんだろう、これ。これは綺麗だね。そうだよ、アシュレイ。フラニーと見つけた僕たちの宝物だ。フラニー、ここに隠してたんだね。ゲームソフトみたい。リー、これもフラニーのものうん。こんなの見たことない。オシュレイ、何かなってる。Oh, looks like it unlocked a room. なんだろう、この画面。これ、お屋敷の地図だよね。光ってる部屋がある。ねえ、このアナザーキーって何？わからない。アナザーキー。どういう誰 Oh, who is that? Let's save. I'm just going to save over this. Oh, I think we might be at the end of chapter two. Who is this person that appeared? Let's take a look. Uh, give me one second, please. Thank you.
Yep, sorry, this <laughs> this doesn't look very helpful for streaming when you have to blow your nose every few minutes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, confirm and go back. Chapter three, here we are. Reunited with dad. That's her dad. But where's Jessica? Ashley, da ne? Richard, da. どうしよう。この人がパパ。あ、はい。こんなに大きくなったんだね。君を待っていたよ。何を話したらいいの？パパに言いたいことはいっぱいあるって思ってたのに。私胸がいっぱいで私胸がドキドキするだけで。なんて声をかけていいのか。胸がいっぱいだ。目の前に君がいるなんて。パパ。アシュレイ、おいで。気がした。パパに抱きしめられた時、タバコの匂いがした。この人がパパ。パパに会えたんだ。私。パパ、ジェシカはどこ？ いや、ジェシカにはまだ会っていない。そんな。どうした？ジェシカは一緒じゃなかったのか？私のせいなんだ。私がわがまま言ってジェシカが先に行っちゃって。私追いかけたけど追いつかなくて屋敷の近くまで
画面はシステムが発動してる。Um, that's supposed to be her dad, but I have this suspicion he's not her dad. He's like an uncle, or he wants to get his hand on this DAS system. It's not her dad. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, why would Jessica be missing, right? I just feel he feels suspicious to me. Two in the west wing and one in the east. Like, two people in the west wing and one of them's in the east? I wonder. ああ、よくやった。よく見つけてくれた。アシュレ、これをどこで見つけたんだ？ピアノの中だよ。ピアノだと、まさかそんな場所に。ねえ、パパ、これは何？ どうしてピアノの中にあったの？あ、それはアナザーという装置を起動させるための大切な鍵だ。そしてその鍵はビルという男に奪われてしまったんだ。ビル？ Right? He feel, it feels like he should know this. And I feel like because Franny is her dad's grandmother, that he heard these stories from her. So that's why this guy did not know about it. But let's see who Bill is, I guess. Papa, Bill is the one who is. 以前私の研究を手伝っていた男だとても優秀な女子だったがビルは私を裏切り私がこの島で開発してきた大切な研究を奪おうとしたアシュレアナザーは私とサイコが生涯を捧げた研究だ ビルはそのすべての研究成果を横取りしようとしたんだ。ひどい。だからアナザーを奪われる前に私はビルを取り押さえたが、すでにビルはアナザーの軌道に必要な鍵をこの屋敷に隠した後だった。それがこのアナザ
人を救うそうだよハシュレイアナザーは素晴らしい研究だ残念ながらそれを奪おうとする人々もいるだから私は誰にも見つからないようこの島で研究を続けていたんだしかし仲間と思っていたビルまでもアナザーを狙っていたとはアシュレイジェシカを連れ去ったのはきっとビルだえ早く見つけないとジェシカが危ないそうだよパパすぐにジェシカを見つけに行こうああでも心配だ早くアナザーキーを回収してアナザーを守らないとパパまいったな。パパパパはジェシカを探してアナザーキーは私が探してくるアシュレイ君にそんなことはさせられないパパが作ったダスがあれば見つけられるよお屋敷のいろんな仕掛けだってちゃんと解いてきたもんビルがどこに隠してたってアナザーキー見つけられるアシュレイ分かった頼むパパジェシカを早く見つけてああジェシカのことは私に任せなさい<笑>ねえパパなんだもしアナザーキーもジェシカも見つけたらみんなで家に帰れるんだよねああもちろんだそのためにもパパを助けてくれるねうんよしではこれを持っていきなさいこの鍵はダスによると西棟の2階から反応があるようだその鍵があれば入れるだろうありがとうパパあそこは暗いから気をつけていきなさいジェシカもすぐに見つかるだろう私は玄関ホールで待っているようんわかったじゃあ行ってきますあ,あアシュレイえ何お父さんに会えてよかったねうんどうしたの嬉しくないのうん嬉しいよでもなんだか変な気持ちきっと嬉しすぎて心がまだ追いついてないんだよそうかもそういえばパパには D が見えてなかったみたい君のパパは見えるものしか信じてないからでも心配しなくていいよ大人はみんなそうだみんな僕のことは見えないお父さんのお手伝いするのするよパパに頼まれたんだもんパパのために私アナザーキー探すよそうリィ一緒に探してくれるうんえー、っと<笑> So you spoiled yourself because you decided to google her dad Richard, um, I won't Google it, <laughs>、um, but he D just explained that he,、um, th 
uh, if that was her dad, Richard, he wouldn't have been able to see him because he said most adults don't see him. And I'm not sure what the indication of that wrist pain he had there at the end was. Must be something to do with it. Like he got injured or hurt. Um, but I do think that he was the one who met Jessica at the back at the docks and you know he, he convinced her to walk away and as soon as she walked away you know he kind of like kidnapped her and you know again the stories have to deal with her father knowing this place and obviously that guy didn't know it was there he's just he's not he's probably Bill <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> uh, you can now check the location of another keys from the DOS. Use this feature to find the remaining another keys. Okay. Let's see here. We got another key. A startup key for the another found in the box in the piano. That's looking for this. It's got a strange pattern on it. Oops. Oh. I... There's the key. And oh, updates for Franny. Oh. I met Dad. He's really tall and hugs hard. He smells like cigarettes, which I didn't remember at all. Maybe it's just that 11 years is too long, but I feel weird, like my heart can't catch up to reality. It seemed really sudden. One minute is normal and the next I've met my dad. I was so nervous I forgot to say any of the things I meant to, but I finally met him. And I don't think she's her, his, she's his dad. Right? He designed a system, but he seemed kind of, hmm. Who's going to tell me I can't have the only picture of my mother I've seen? Sorry. I found a picture of me as a baby in the art studio, and I think the person holding me was mom. It finally makes sense. She was the one who always showed up in my dream. She has such a kind face, and now I'll never forget it. Wait, there's nothing. I'm keeping this picture. Who's going to tell me I can't have the only picture of my mother I've ever seen? Sometimes it says like new things came up, but it's not really new. <laughs> Dee's been slowly piecing together his memories as we explored a mansion looking for Jessica. Right? Like, he hasn't told her much for him. I mean, technically no one else is on this island, I suppose, so she assumes the only guy on here would be her dad, but it is weird. It's great news. At this rate, I bet he'll remember everything in no time. We'll make sure to get all your memories back, Dee. But man, there sure are a lot of weird devices in this place, like the butler's silverware, silver tableware, or Franny's dolls. I guess Lawrence, the head of the family, was pretty into this stuff. After playing the piano and finding Franny's and Dee's shells, this guy came out, out of nowhere. It was Dad. Even though I hadn't seen, haven't seen him in 11 years, and even though there's like a million things I wanted to say to him, my mind went totally blank. I couldn't say anything. That sounds pretty normal. We were able to get into the butler's room and the art studio in the east wing using the E key. Oh, east wing is E key, so the W key must be west wing. <laughs> and thanks to the key we found in the butler's room, we were able to get into Franny's room on the second floor. But still no sign of Jessica. Dad said he hasn't seen her either. I'm beginning to wonder if she's even in this place. I'm really starting to worry. Where are you, Jessica? Okay, let's see, Lawrence. Lawrence took his grandchildren, Henry and Thomas, after his son Leonard died. He seems to have raised them well, according to Wells' journal. It seems he was kind of a grumpy guy, but maybe to the kids he was just a sweet, sweet grandpa. 
Wells loved this silver table where I'll bet he chose most of the furniture and silver in the mansion. He did a great job too. The lamps and candle holders are all gorgeous, but very usable. I like antiques myself, so everywhere I look I see great pieces. Is this from Ashley's perspective? If it is, I can't imagine a 14 year old saying, I love antique pieces. Well, maybe they can. <laughs> I, I shouldn't, shouldn't disregard that fact, but it is <laughs> funny. Pity no one's taken care of them all this time. So they're all dusty, dull and dusty. Wells would hate to see it like this. Oh, and last one, Franny. The drawing of Franny in the art studio was obviously really old, but Dee talks about his memories of her like they just happened. Looking around here, it's easy to see that whatever happened, happened a long time ago. It's amazing to think that Dee was friends with Franny's decades ago, and now I'm friends with him. I'm glad we were able to put Franny's homemade dolls back together and line them up as a family again. It's good for families to be together. And D. D seems to be remembering all sorts of stuff as we look around the mansion. There was a butler who took care of him and a little girl he was friends with. Weird that this all happened almost 60 years ago. When I see how excited D is to open every door looking for new memories, I'm glad he came along with me. And without his help, I wouldn't have gotten nearly so far. Most of all, I was glad Dee was there when I met up with my father. If I had been alone, I might have just run away. That's nice. Okay. Well, we got a pretty good... Wait, Henry! Alright, Henry. Where are you? Henry grew up with a wonderful family and was becoming an artist like he'd always dreamed when he lost his right arm in the war. <gasps> he couldn't hold a brush after that and must have been so sad not to be able to paint anymore. I'm sure it's thanks to the support of his family and his own efforts that he was able to get just as good with his left hand as he had been with his right. Franny used to brag about her father to Dee. Even so, Marie wrote in her farewell letter that Henry had changed. It must have been so shocking for him when people he loved died. I... You know how he was saying that the this thing they were working on would heal people? Do you think that's like a weird version of Henry? since he came up and he was like touching his right arm because he healed his right arm back do you think that's Henry like they brought his Franny's dad would make great grandfather hmm a key from dad it has a big W on it it opens a door on the second floor of the west wing Okay, let's go. The door on the second floor of the west wing. Is it this one? Yes. Oh, I was right. It opened. なんか真っ暗だね。それに湿った匂いがする。ずっと放置されていたんだ。本当にこんなところにアナザーキーが隠してあるの？もう一度脱走を見て確かめよう。あ、もっと奥の部屋で光っている。
アシュレイこっちだよわたし暗いの苦手なんだけどな。Okay, finding the way forward. Try. That was super fast. <laughs> it's, I guess it says try looking around. Hmm, what puzzle it is. <gasps> This is a candle holder. Do I have something to light it? Oh! Well, I forgot I had that. Phew, sunlight. Okay, give me a moment here, please. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, needed another refill of hot water. <laughs> It is helping a little at least. Okay. Alright, l let's continue. Find the way forward. Okay. I wonder if I'm looking for more candles to help light the way. Or if I go too far, the candles will disappear. There's no candle there. Do you think I should take it and hold it? Can I take it?、Uh, oh, yeah! This candle could be useful in other places too. Take the candle.、Uh, is it safe to hold it? <laughs> Hot candle. Wait, now it's dark again. Um, where did the. A candle from the study. It looks well used, but it got some wick. It still got some wick left. I should be able to get some use out of it. Okay. I wonder if I just kind of look at it, use it temporarily. I mean. This is part of the puzzle, but the screen doesn't look too bad. Oh, here we go.、Uh, wait, hold on. Let me check what those are first. There's a candle holder. I should make notes of the interesting things I find. Whoa! She wrote that fast. <laughs> so. So, this is what a rich girl's room looks like. <laughs> Franny's room, Henry's room, Golden Bird room. Yeah, I, I have no idea. And then, okay. 
All right, candle holder. It's a dead end. There are some ornaments on this bookshelf. Looks like birds. Uh, okay, let's put the candle holder there. And... Yes! That helps shine a light on the subject. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Bookshelf. Oh, look, those are the two birds again. Gold hummingbird statue. Bird decorations. Why is this the only bookshelf decorated like this? How does she know it's the only bookshelf decorated like this? We only walked forward once. Um, it just says up, right? Oh, books. The books on this shelf have hearts and clover on them. Pretty cool design. Um, definitely that is a big hint. Um, Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to find... Oh, here's another. So I wonder if that gives a hint. I'm just curious if there was anything else here. There's some light from the boards, wooden board here. Oh, there's another candle back there, or candle holder. Okay, so I think... Um, let me just make sure there's not another one here. Oh, look! Oh, whoa! That looks dangerous down there. Yikes! It looks dangerous past here. But how does she see? It's too dark. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna have to... Oh, this was the candle that I saw from the other side. Okay. So there's really only two places to check. Let's take the candle with me. This candle could be useful in other places too. Yep. Let's take it. I'm glad I don't have to light it up every time. Let's check here first. That helps shine a light on the subject. <laughs> oh wow, that's dangerous too. Let's see what I'm looking for here. Not sure. Can I can I cross over here or no? Is it just telling me it's dangerous here? Nope. Uh, I can't look at those books. Okay, but I'm gonna say that the other place looked interesting, so let's take this over to the other one. Because the holder was slightly different looking. Okay, let's put it here. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> oh, it looks smaller there, but... Yes! That helps shine a light on the subject. What do we see here? Huh? Papa,
No problem. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks so much for joining me so far. Um, hopefully I'll find a way out of this uh, library. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. お父さんは子供の頃からここでたくさんの本を読んで。小説家になろうと思ったんだ。もう I know what she's thinking, but that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Alright, but she wants to do that. Won't it just break the rest of the floor? <laughs> okay. あしれ、大丈夫うん、大丈夫。D の声、奥の方から聞こえた。よし。本棚の上歩いて奥に進もう。でもここ本当に渡れるかな崩れそうでちょっと怖い。yeah, it looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> oh, there's D. Ashley,僕ここに父さんと来たことがある。I wonder how can D be so certain there's another, another, another <laughs> over there. Let's see what that says. It's too dark to see if there's anything useful on this bookshelf. 
we should go back and get the candle, I guess. Hmm. There must be an another key. There must be an another key past here. That must have been fun to translate. <laughs> um, all right, let's go back and get that candle. All right, I didn't think there was anywhere we can't. Oh, these bookshelves slide. Hold on. Oh. Oh, I see if I put the candle there, I'll be able to see this. Okay. It is pretty dangerous, this floor, like so many... <laughs> like, that is not <laughs> safe. <laughs> Hold up. Oh wait, all right, I put it... I put it back over there. Okay, let's pick that up. Yep. <sighs> I'm just mostly happy that the hungover part is mostly gone. <laughs> okay. Even though I'm still pretty tired tonight. But I want to finish this puzzle at least. Yes. Alright. Now let's go back around, even though it's not safe. But we can now see the name on the uh, bookshelf. The, maybe there's something on this bookshelf. The two birds know the order. The two birds know the order. There's something written on it. The two birds know the order. So this bookshelf is same as the other one. So I'm guessing it's similar to the door. One of those birds have a heart, and the other bird has a clover. So I'm gonna go with that. Excuse me? I feel like I'm starting to run out of uh, maybe water in my body so my nose won't be uh, running so much. <laughs> uh oh, I think I might sneeze. Hard on. <laughs> I'll blame it on these dusty bookshelves. <laughs> okay, let's take the candle. Okay. Let's put it back here. Oh, I keep forgetting I can just put it on here. Yes. Okay. So the birds know the order. Um The birds don't have like a shape on them. But the two birds know the order. Could that be these two birds? 
I would think so. Can I click on it? If I can examine, no? Two birds know the order. Can I click on them? Oh. No. The two birds know the order. Is it talking about these books? Maybe I need to match the order. Okay, so... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, let's take a picture of it then. Um, I can't move it over. Okay, I can't... Um, all right, that's good enough. Okay, let's go back. And we need the candle. Yes. Oops. And let's put it back over here. I hope she remembers to put it out <laughs> when she's done using this. Considering how much wood and paper is around, it wouldn't be safe. Yes. Alright, let's go back. Oh. I think it just thinks I have, um, because I have a new picture there. Well, definitely the person who is my quote-unquote dad would have uh, not made it over because it's dangerous here. Okay. Let's, uh... I guess I have to take another photo and then try to use that overlay feature again. I'm gonna have run out of memory space soon. Back. Okay. Let's um overlay oh ah, wrong button. You can't overlay that they don't match up, right? <laughs> um overlay with this one. I guess you can. Oh it doesn't help. Um yeah, they're slightly different. Doesn't work the same way. So, hold on. This is the one, the bottom one. Oh, look! Um, the books are in different order. So it should be black, red, black, black, red, so forth. Okay. Can I touch the thing? Hmm, these books. I should check it out. Okay, good. Okay, that's how they flip. Alright, oh! Good. ZR will take me to the album. So I can look at it. So this was the wrong one. Can I delete this picture so I don't confuse myself? Mm. Yes, but um, I don't want to confuse myself. So, delete. Um, how do you delete? Delete. Uh, no, batch delete. Just this one. Okay. All right. Batch delete made it sound like I was going to delete a bunch of them. Okay. All right. Black, red, black, black, red. Black. No, 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 no. Ah. Black. 
black, red, black. Black. I guess I could say clover and hearts too. <laughs> okay. Heart. Oh no, sorry. Clover, heart. Eh, I'm just gonna go with black and red. Black, red, black, black, red. Okay. Black, red, black, red, red. Black, red, black, black, red. Is that right? Maybe I should just write it down. <laughs> Hold on, let's do this. All right, I'm just going to... Do I have a paper somewhere? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just be going all night. Okay, here we go. Black, red, black, black, red, black, red, black, red, red, black, red, 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 black, red, black, 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 red. Okay. All right, let's see what I got here. All right. Black, red, black, black, red, black, Red, black, red. Mm. Wait, no! Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Welcome back. Black, red, black, black, red, black, red, black, red, red, okay. Huh? No, that's wrong. Black, red, black, red, red, okay. And then black again, red, red. Red, black, and then red. There we go. Thank you. We did it. ちょっと。Okay, that did not make any sense. I don't think they should have bothered with that part of the dialogue because D said he can't get into the mansion because he can't walk through walls, but he just went through the bookshelves. Or did he go over it? I don't get it. <laughs> I got a little lost there. Okay, um, 
Was there a gap underneath? Is that why he got... Oh, through here? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll let it pass. <laughs> There's so many books on the floor. Okay. Okay, you're right. There is a gap there. <laughs> but I didn't see it in the cutscene, so I was kind of confused, but okay. So it's just like he could pass through that, uh, through the gap, not because he walked through the bookshelf. <laughs> But I think this would be a good point to stop here for tonight. Um, we have more mysteries. We have to get to the inner room. But we made it to chapter 3, so that's pretty good. And so far, <laughs> that was a very long puzzle. I tried writing it down. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was much easier to see it typed in sets of 5 as well. But yeah, I think that for tonight, I will stop here. Hopefully this cold will go away. Um, I'm going to take a um, quick screenshot here. Can I zoom in anymore? No. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. There, I didn't see one. Because she needed... Oh no, because she could take pictures, but when she asked Jessica to take a picture of her, I don't think there was a selfie cam. Let me just double check. Rever oh wait, reverse? Oh yeah! I can't... Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but a uh, very close-up picture of myself. I can't seem to adjust. That might come in useful later. Yeah, awesome. Okay, have a great rest of your weekend. Um, If I get a chance to set up, I don't know if you... <laughs> well, if you're free, feel free to join, but I, I don't know yet. We'll see how that goes. So let me save the game and we can get out from here. Save. 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 Okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> Arm stretch. Or she could put it on the table, right? <laughs> okay, how do you get back to... Oh, there's a lot of save data. Oh! <gasps> I thought it was like only three, so I didn't want it, so I just overrode everything. <laughs> That's okay. All right, I will. Was it? No, wait, back. No, 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 back. How do I get back to the home screen? Oh, here we go. Go to the title screen. All right, I definitely hit save, right? <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining. Had a great time. Um, take care. Don't get sick. <laughs> and see you next time. Good night.